My name is Princess Ronke Ademilui. I'm the Global Heritage Ambassador to His Imperial Majesty, the Honour of Ife, for the Queen Moremi Ajashoro Initiative. And it's my role to um, come up with um, collaborative partnerships and also initiatives to enhance the legacies of the iconic Queen. came about in 2017 um, off the back of the Africa Fashion Week because I'm also the founder of the Africa Fashion Week London and Nigeria and I think His Imperial Majesty in seeing what I was able to do with the Africa Fashion Week decided that um, he would make me the ambassador for the Queen Morimi Ajashoro initiative and also I think because I'm a princess of Ile Ife as well. Why not Morimi? <laughs> Morimi was, um, she, she reigned, um, she, she existed 1,700 years ago. And yes, there had been a few things that were named after her, like um, a hall at the University of Ibadan, another one at um, Obafemi Awolowo University of Ife. But um, I think His Imperial Majesty thought that a lot of things hadn't been done to immortalize her. The younger generation didn't know about her, so he started with um, erecting a statue, the tallest statue in Nigeria, in Ileife in 2017, to honor the queen, and that's where the whole Moremi Ajashoro initiative started from. Um, aside the musical, so we didn't even start with the musical. Like I said, His Imperial Majesty started by erecting the tallest statue of Moremi in 2016. And then in 2017, we also developed a cultural and leadership pageant of Moremi for 18 and 25 year olds that we do every year. And whoever wins automatically comes the, becomes a youth ambassador to the Oni of Ife. We took it a step further and we also developed a book. We published a book in collaboration with the Obafemi Awolowo University. The book at the moment is being embedded in the curriculum of schools in Nigeria. After that, we thought um, a musical would be an ideal thing to um, portray or to show this, to tell the story of Moremi. And in partnership with Bolani Austin Peters, we developed Moremi the musical, which was a huge success. We showed it in December, showed it again in Easter, to over, um, uh, I think, about 30,000 people, both shows. And in collaboration again with Alexis Gallery, we're doing the first of its kind, Moremi Traveling Exhibition. Oh, definitely. Um, the story of Moremi is a very unique one. She was um, the epitome of female leadership. She took that bold step and saved her people from the evaders of Ife at the risk of her own, you know, she could have died, anything could have happened to her. So she was, she was a great leader. And what we're using the story of Moremi to do is to encourage young women, not even just women, young men as well, you know, to take that bold step and go into like leadership roles. It would encourage women because um, we don't have a lot of female role models and even if we have them they are not known so by telling their stories to the younger generation by by putting a lot more about them out there would encourage other women you know to take that bold step to take up leadership roles it would be good to have a female governor one day at some point it will be have it will be good to have a female president as well but if they don't know that women like this existed in the past then I'm sure they won't be comfortable, they won't be really, really comfortable in trying to take up those leadership roles. But if they're aware that we had women, the ancient women of old, you know, who were leaders, then it would encourage them as well.
So I didn't grow up in Nigeria, I grew up in London, but all the while that I, would, uh, that I was growing up in London, I was proud of my heritage. So it was easy for me when I moved back to Nigeria to be able to um, uh, uh, connect with it. And that's why I started the Africa Fashion Week London. The Africa Fashion Week London was a way to showcase our heritage, but in a fashionable way. And one of the best ways to get people's attention is through fashion. I don't feel limited because we have there's so much. Um, Africa is a continent with about 51 countries and I'm sure each country has their own unique style. Each country has about almost over a hundred ethnic, um, ethnic groups. So we have so much, there's so many stories to tell about Africa from um, our culture to our fashion to our food. There's just so much. So I don't feel limited. For me, I think Morimi is just the beginning. The story of Morimi existed 1,700 years ago and most of, the, most of what we've heard has been passed orally. Yes, we heard that the sun didn't die, so it's not as if um, the goddess, the, the river goddess killed the sun, that the, the sun transcended into heaven. Um, the sun was, there have been so many stories. The sun was actually, it actually became a river priest. But the most important thing is the message which was that Moremi was willing to give all she had for her people. You know, she was willing to sacrifice everything she had, herself, her son, for the benefit of her people. And those are the, those are the characteristics of a true leader. You know, and that's what um, leadership is about. Being able to put the love of your people before yourself, no matter what the circumstances are. For the musical, we intend to grow it as big as The Lion King, God willing. The Lion King is a musical that was from South Africa and it's been, in, it's been on Broadway and the West End, I think for close to about 20 years now. And that's our dream for Morimi as well, um, the Morimi musical, the Morimi ex traveling exhibition. It's going to be a series of exhibitions starting with a view from the masters. It's going to be a traveling exhibition which we intend to be in galleries in London as well like Sotheby's or Bonham's um, and also the United States as well have it in some of the museums but also enable us to keep on telling the message about Moremi which is about leadership you know being a sacrificial leader being able to give everything you have for the love of your community, for the love of your people, for the love of people around you. And also about female leadership, you know, trying to encourage African women to do more when it comes to taking fe uh, leadership roles. And also, you know, that myth about African women only being good as mothers and wives, you know, trying to do away with that myth that we are actually master strategists. Hello everyone, my name is Princess Ronke Ademilui and I'm the Global Ambassador for the Moremi Initiative of His Imperial Majesty the Oni of Ife and you're watching Guardian TV.